Welcome to another session of Character Modeling with me, Steve Moore, a.k.a. S'more. And uh, this this week, uh, we're going to... I want to show you guys how we can take our a garment we've made in uh, Marvel's Designer and and get some game res topology out of it. And to be specific, we want geometry that we could actually deliver to rig, that we could animate. Um, and so that's what I want to talk about this session. So to begin, um, at right now I've got the the particle distance set to five. So we've got you know nice looking folds and stuff. It's pretty high res, but what we really want, obviously, is something that's a little lower res. So as you might have guessed straight out of the gate, what we're going to do is take take our various garment elements here, and we're going to take the particle distance back up to about twenty, right? And that's that's going to affect things noticeably. You can see it's it's a lot lower res now. Um, so that's that's the first step, right? Um, but as you're going to see in a moment, the geometry get out of the designer is not it's not great for for animating. It's not great for rig. Um, so how are we going to deal with that? Just to keep things simple, I'm not going to I'm not going to export everything. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff. So we don't actually need the zippers. We can get rid of the zippers. This is our low, remember this is our low res version. That stuff, we could just bake, right? We can bake that in the normal map. So we can get that from the high res version and just blow. So we'll just blow this stuff away here. So now we just have a, a more basic version of it. And I'm going to, first I'm going to focus on the main jacket. So we're going to leave off off the cuffs I'm going to leave off the cuffs and the belt section and just just kind of export the body of the jacket right okay so here goes so we've we've dialed down the resolution I'm going to go oh and we're going to go up to the context menu and 3d garment and once again we're going to quadrate so now we're ready to export so I'm going to export OBJ selected and let's call this demo jacket low source call cool. that takes a minute now when the export options come up what we're looking for is single object and we want to we want to weld those parts and yes, we want to keep it thin. And click OK. Sweet. So here we are in ZBrush again. Um, let's go and import our little jacket mesh from Zebra. Um, marvelous designer here. And let's take a look at this. All right. So at first glance looks OK. But when we turn on the polyframe, you can see it's a bit of a mess, right? We've got five-sided patches all over the place um yeah it's chaotic there's some areas that look all right like you know got some nice you know evenly spaced loops here but then they just kind of disappear into this milieu there you know so what we want is evenly spaced loops all the way across the torso we want concentric loops running down the length of the arm the shoulder into the torso here right really want loops that even kind of go into the torso a bit because the whole when the character raises their arm the whole this whole area is going to flex and move it can move up and down and don't forget your your shoulders can move forwards and backwards too so this is an area of a lot of movement um and riggers and riggers like nice evenly spaced loops in those areas including the elbows you can get a, the elbows you know it's only got one axis of movement so you can get away with a little bit more i mean generally you should have evenly spaced loops here and you may even focus some topology on the back of the elbow so that there's something to kind of hold the form when it closes so we need so that's what we need to do right with this mesh and the way we're going to get there is something called we're going to use z remesh in conjunction with uh, Z remesh guides here. So this little cube with the dotted lines on it is a Z remesh guide tool. 
Um, before we do that, there's one little thing I want to, one little tweak I want to make to this. Um, I'm going to copy it, right? I'm going to copy our jacket here. Um, and I just want to clean up the elbows for the purposes of remeshing because this is going to be a bit problematic. So all I'm going to do is go in there and with a smooth brush, just, just iron out some of that crease there. No worries. We can, we can reproject it after we've got our loops where we want them, right? But that's just going to make it a little cleaner when we remesh. Okay. Now back to the zero mesh guide tool. Um, want to not not you don't want to brush too the brush size of the brush is going to correspond to the number of segments in our in our when we draw our curve. Um, the smaller brush will give us more segments. You don't want it too small, um, and you don't want it too big. Too big and it doesn't capture the topology properly. Too small and the curve can go um, wonky in a hurry. So so we'll try about there, and let's get started. We're going to draw a curve around our shoulder here and there you go first one and then we're going to draw the next curve further down right and you'll notice that I've kind of got it fanning out it's it's tighter in the armpit and wider across the top of the shoulder and that's because this area has to compress whilst this area has to expand, right? So therefore the loops need to kind of compress a bit at the, at the armpit. So now moving down, let's take a look at our elbow here. Same dealio. Let's draw a loop around here. So we're telling ZBrush that we want loops. We want the loops to flow in this direction, not in this chaotic kind of random direction. All right, so again, on the other side of the elbow, do the same thing. And for good measure, because also remember that your arm shears, your wrist twist, the whole forearm can, can twist. So let's make sure that we keep concentric loops all the way down the length of the arm by applying another guide there. Um, and if I didn't mention it, before should have symmetry on here so you you save yourself drawing these curves twice right okay so so far so good cool all right and now let's take a look at z remesh so the target pollock count is a very it's an approximate i believe the you know the number five is like five thousand it's in units of a thousand um but it's very approximate so let's let's dial it down to one so it's going to be approximately a thousand i expect to be more like two but um here we go and we're going to hit z remesh oh man i'm happy with that so if you can see and we'll take this into Maya in a minute to confirm it you can see these nice concentric loops right wrapping around the shoulder Evenly spaced loops across the torso, concentric loops at the elbow, all the way down to the arm. That that makes me so happy I want to cry because I am so used to doing this stuff by hand. So this is way better. As our models get denser and denser, um, you know, as technology improves, you know, we've got to have ways to do this stuff automatically. And I think. I'm quite happy with the Z remesh guide tool and Z remesh is pretty 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 cool. You know, you may you may want to tweak stuff a little bit, but I think that's a that's a pretty good start. And um, let's just take a quick look in Meyer at this uh, closer look at the topology. So we'll export off for another OBJ. I'll call this one remeshed. Okay, so in Meyer, and the only reason we're in Meyer is just I wanted to take a closer look at this geo and my is a good place to do that right um so yeah so this this is looking pretty tidy i would say it, it's not perfect right it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit of cleanup involved but this is a hell of a lot easier than doing things by hand right so so if we take a quick look here at our loops 
you know this is this is what we want right you want whoopsie you know I'm just highlighting the uh, the joint here where we're having these concentric loops is critical right this is um, this is the area as I mentioned before that it's got to flex all all the way from here you know into into here you want these loops to be concentric now I I think I will admit that it's gone a little haywire down here um, but still for the most part you can see say that it's for the most part it's you know you've got you've got nice you can see nice concentric loops and it's just just down here that I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit right you can see that like I just want um, that to kind of that, that I, you would get away with that that you know that that area there is okay the main thing is you know the main thing is you know from here you know that they're all the way there on the shoulder that this whole area can can flex up and down forwards and backwards so this area not super critical but I would want to clean that up and make that also just a continuous loop um, taking a look at the elbows yep nice concentric loops very happy about that right so I, I like to color code my joints you know just to kind of there you go and, and of course forearms as well they're looking good so there you go so that's Z remesh and Z guides um, before before I leave you um, I had mentioned like hey I cleaned up the elbow a little bit you know so I could get these nice clean loops here but we lost some of the form so not to not to worry right so this is let me just call this remesh so I don't forget remesh um, and this is our original um, so if I go before after I did lose a little bit of volume there so I mean to fix that that's easy enough you just uh, turn on transparency go back to the, the new mesh here I like to throw a layer on and find what you want to find is Z project which is right here um, and then holding the alt key down so I can pull the geo out right because it's kind of hiding inside and I'll I'll kind of try to follow the actual existing loops when I do this right rather than just kind of randomly brush just being cognizant of where are the loops um, so you got a better chance of um, not getting them all wonky right and there we go we'll just kind of reintroduce some of that form back into our new mesh and Bob's your auntie man I um yeah so there you go so and I'll you know you can, and you can, of course you can go back a little you can go back and forward on this stuff um but keeping so now now we've got our now we've reintroduced our form kind of back in there it's not as not as wonky clip matching the you know the original closer there um you get the idea there you go so a quick way to get your um, low res geometry without a lot of fussing, fussing around with, you know, well, the, the modeling toolkit and Maya or Topo Gun or whatever. Um, yeah, I think this is this is the way to go for me anyway. Um, so with that, I'll say you know happy modeling. Until next time, adieu.